sitting at his kitchen table with a brush and some paint, Spokane's Travis Chapman, a roofing businessman by trade, weaves a quirky narrative in his paintings that oftentimes are meant to elicit a laugh or a nod, but will nearly always bring forth a response. Welcome to the world of a meme-friendly guy who revels in the fun of creating images that he says are opposing to an expected visual. It's relaxing to paint. I just like doing it. I like doing opposite things, like sometimes I would just paint something and then I would think what would be funny to have in this picture that doesn't fit, sort of, or would be weird or, you know, strange and ironic. I don't know if it's a meme, but I like, I like movies and in The Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi says there's no defense for the crane kick. So I had him going against Darth Vader, you know, because it's like he would never win, but there's no defense for this thing. And also against Jaws, like he's on a sinking boat, but he's gonna win because he's got this undefensible kick. What I found is you need to be able to see it within like two seconds because people are scrolling. If you don't catch them immediately, they're not gonna take the time to look at the description necessarily. So you've got to catch them quick. Travis strives to paint things that are pop culture oriented and relatable. Without formal training, he latched onto painting shows on television like Bob Ross in The Joy of Painting and the show Paint This with Jerry Yarnell on PBS. I did a painting called The Canvas Assassin and it's Bob Ross in the Bruce Lee pose with his shirt off and like the cut chest where he got cut in the movie, Enter the Dragon. Bob's holding the paintbrushes up like he's about to, you know, attack because he paints so fast that uh, he attacks. <laughs> As a kid, I would watch like a guy, Jerry Arnell on PBS and then, you know, Bob Ross. But Bob Ross paints so fast, it's almost like more of a show than to paint along with him. He would do a whole painting in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Jerry Arnell I liked a lot, and he would teach you techniques, you know, still teaching you stuff. Travis's work graces the pages of online sites like Pinterest and Etsy, places that get a lot of attention and views, but interestingly, with tongue planted firmly into cheek, there was one unique place he initially thought would garner the most attention. Originally, I thought the best place for a painting is behind a urinal because you have to look, I mean, you, you can't even be on your phone. It's like, it's captive audience, but of course I'd rather have it in a more prestigious place, but that's like the most where someone will look at it and pay attention to it. I usually have an idea and then I start painting it and then it changes because it's like, oh, I put this too close to here or oh, there's a big space in the painting because I'm not that good at drawing stuff out before I do it. I did one where Quint from Jaws, the captain guy, is like pouring a beer in Jaws's mouth. I painted a Jaws painting and it, it was just Jaws in the ocean and it sat there for probably two weeks and I just kept looking at it, deciding what else to put in there. I was gonna have him be like a flamethrower and then I decided that Quint pouring a beer in his mouth and that's been like one of my most popular paintings. It could have went either way. I didn't have a plan at all. I just looked at it long enough and decided what I was gonna finish the painting with. And the best thing is if I can have an idea that's easy to paint, that's succinct, and you can get it really fast. Those are my favorite, but they don't come along that often. With a house full of his paintings, both on the walls and in storage, Travis keeps painting, creating, and uploading his images, hoping that his avocation of being an artist will supplant his current roofing business as his main profession. So I'm transitioning Slowly, I still have my roofing business to be a safety net, but I'm working harder and going deeper into art, and that's the goal. And I'm just uh, painting things I want to paint, and I figure if I want to paint them or I like the image or it's nostalgic for me, then it's gonna be nostalgic for somebody else and it's gonna make them feel like I feel when I look at that image.